ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਗੈਸਟ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਕੈਨੇਡੀਅਨ ਬੋਰਨ ਸੈਲਫ ਮੇਡ ਆਰਟਿਸਟ ਨੇ ਕੈਨੇਡੀਅਨ ਆਰਟਿਸਟ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਫਿਲਮ ਮੇਕਰ ਵੀ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਬੋਰਨ ਐਂਡ ਰੇਸਡ ਨੇ ਪਰ ਬਾਲੀਵੁੱਡ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਿਪ ਹੌਪ 뮤직 ਨਾਲ ਕਾਫੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਫੇਮਸ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸ਼ਾਹਰੁਖ ਖਾਨ ਤੇ ਏ ਆਰ ਰਹਿਮਾਨ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸੈਲੈਬ੍ਰਿਟੀਜ਼ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਕੋਲੈਬੋਰੇਟ ਕਰਕੇ ਕਈ ਕਈ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟਸ ਤੇ ਕੰਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਅਸਲੀ ਨਾਮ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਅਮਿਤਾਬ ਸੁਨੀਲ ਬੈਕਟਰ ਆ ਬਟ ਪਪੂਲਰਲੀ ਨੋਨ ਐਜ਼ ਇਸ਼ਕ ਬੈਕਟਰ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ 'ਚ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਮੈਂ ਲਿਸਨਰਸ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਦੱਸ ਦਵਾਂ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਰੈਡ ਐਫਐਮ ਦੇ ਫੇਸਬੁੱਕ ਪੇਜ ਤੇ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊ ਲਾਈਵ ਬ੍ਰਾਡਕਾਸਟ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ਼ਕ ਬੈਕਟਰ ਜੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਆਰ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਹੇ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫॉर ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਆਮ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਹੈਪੀ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਹੇਅਰ ਸੇਮ ਹੇਅਰ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਲੱਕੀ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਯੂ ਹੇਅਰ ਟੂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਦੱਸੋ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਨਾਮ ਆ ਇਸ਼ਕ ਬੈਕਟਰ ਯੂਰ ਰੀਅਲ ਨੇਮ ਇਜ਼ ਅਮਿਤਾਬ ਸੁਨੀਲ ਬੈਕਟਰ ਸੋ uh what made you choose this name okay interesting name actually i've been making music my whole my whole life mostly i started mm-hmm. out as a dancer phir jadon main socha ke main indian music desi music hi banana va te main india jana va te utthe main shuru karna va mera music te main socha ke ek naam bhi naam bhi badalna chahida kyunki mm-hmm. ethe sunil like when i was in this group called the freak show i was uh, sunil was fine cuz like there was no real like you know what i mean that was uh, original enough mm-hmm. <laughs> of a name for a non indian group but jadon main utthe bombay jana sega main socha let me take like the most ghisa pita alfaz jehda hega hai hindustani sangeet vich oh hega kadi ya kadi kambak hunda kadi kamina hunda kadi but ishq is in every song so then mm-hmm. i thought let me grab like the most uh, used and over abused word and flip it on its head and make something new out of it so then that's why ishq bector was born that's nice <laughs> and you were born and raised here to see at the french immersion school there with ji and then you went to chinese traditional med- yeah. medicine school yeah and utho we all of a sudden bollywood ch kive pahunch gaye all of a sudden nahi siga matlab music ta mera side the side chalda siga matlab mm-hmm. actually music was the main and everything else was side by side okay. so i did tcm i did R, uh, rmt as well i did like a uh, remedial massage course i did i did um traditional chinese medicine my specialty was in um musculoskeletal pain management mm-hmm. mai utthe bhi kitta sega bombay te jadon mai bombay pahunchya i i realized that both of my fields one is like hip hop music and the other one was uh sports therapies both of them were very underdeveloped when mm-hmm. i had reached there first mm-hmm. so then it was good that i was able to i was able to kind of work as an as a sports remedi- like a, a rehab therapist i worked with the indian cricketers like the national uh cricketers like yuvraj singh mm-hmm. uh like ajit agar like so many of them okay. um i worked with them when um at that time the their team physio andrew would only come to india during season that was before ipl days mm-hmm. so the team physio was from australia and when he was off season he would refer me to all of his players and be like okay you need to go check out um mm-hmm. yuvraj this is happening with him this is happening like you know with zaheer khan his ha- whatever was going on with them mm-hmm. so i i would work with them and al- alongside i was developing my music okay. so music was also i it took a you know everybody thinks that it's going to you know i went to india to mumbai on a six month ticket talking about i'm not going home going home till i get a record deal okay. menu taisa lagge to oh. sign my first record with universal the oda nasi ishq de bomb total flop total flop album the mm. second album mai banaya uh, bmg crescendo de naal called desi hip hop oh we full <laughs> flop <laughs> full flop the third album jehda mera siga that that is the one uh, with daku daddy and a hip hop and hip hop a hip hop is still my calling card like yeah. still people know me for that song and i still get work mm. uh, from that song mm-hmm. so uh yeah it does it um it's quite it was quite a journey and i've had a lot of fun mm. so to the connection othe koi nahi si bollywood de vich kise de naal bilkul nahi so just fresh unna de li fresh out of board si gaye so how how did you do that like kehdiyan struggles thonu zyada face karniyan paiyan okay mainu mera pehla jehda like first vadda gig 
ਜੋ ਸੀਗਾ ਇਟ ਕੇਮ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ ਦਾ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਐਲਬਮ ਸੀਗਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਲਾਈਕ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਨਜ਼ਦੀਕ ਹੀ ਸੀਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਮੈਂ ਕੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਆਈ ਯੂਸਟ ਟੂ ਸ਼ੋ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਕਲੱਬਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਵੁਡ ਗੋ ਸਟ੍ਰੇਟ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਡੀਜੇ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਬੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੋ ਆਈ ਲਵ ਟੂ ਰੈਪ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਡੀਜੇ ਬੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਓਕੇ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਗਿਵ ਮੀ ਦਾ ਮਾਈਕ ਸੋ ਵਨ ਨਾਈਟ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਆਈ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਈ ਲਾਈਕ grab the microphone at this club at this club called red light in mm-hmm. kala ghoda da- downtown mumbai mm-hmm. and i just jumped on the bar and i started rapping and uh, um salim bhai was there salim merchant from salim suleiman mm-hmm. um was there and and um he just saw the reaction of the crowd that that like the place was they're going nuts fun, huh? yeah they were going nuts so then like he was leaving he's like bro give me your number give me your number right now i, mm-hmm. I i'm just leaving i'm like okay sure i gave him uh, my number and the next day um he called me and the funny thing is that i was leaving two days uh, after that for so my so this happened just to see six months till you took guys here um ne kyunki 6 mahine le main gaya siga par main reh gaya siga matlab 2.5 saal lag gaye mainu like for the first mm-hmm. album to get, to get out so i just okay. missed my ticket i said okay. no i'm not going back home uh-huh. actually what happened is see even at the 6 month uh, for uh, when i was there about 3 weeks before the 6 months was up mm-hmm. i got an offer to perform to open in pune for adnan sami and sunidhi chauhan mm-hmm. i got an offer just because i was in the school wow. okay. i went there i went there and i was part of the school called the roshan tanejas actor studio mm and because through that like people were learning that i was doing music and and i was trying to like get known that way so i got that offer so i remember at the 6 month i was i had a choice in my hands like am i going to do this show in pune with the, like you know an open for adnan sami and sunidhi hmm. or am i going to just go back home and fold like and just like be like okay tk i tried and that and i would at that time i remember i used to have like reoccurring dreams ke main ghar wapas pahunch ke har sare puchde pe ki tu ki ki kita hote and i was like oh mainu pata nahi main ki main ki kita mainu pata hi nahi i used to have this reoccurring dream it's mm-hmm. the only time in my life that i had reoccurring dreams um it's up for now now that i have dua now my daughter now i have safety dreams ke <laughs> kitte that's a different story but yeah so then i chose to do that show and then slowly and then i did that um then salim bhai saw me that night and he called me the next day and we worked on the movie barsat which mm-hmm. is babi deol and priyanka chopra yeah, and yeah, bipasha yeah. basu mm-hmm. so i did their song that uh, shaadi jo kiya hai tune to ab na khare bhi utha i did um the rap portions for that mm-hmm. and then i came back to winnipeg because it was my sister's wedding and i got a call um Uh, from uh, their team sunil darshan was the, is is the director of that film mm-hmm. and they're like they want you to be in the v- the video so pl- like please come to south africa and let's shoot the video for that mm-hmm. so then and it was crazy i went to south africa to sh- to shoot the video and what happened is at that time like rap was really far back like it was just like you know like yeah, before yeah, that yeah. rap was like uh, not to cut hurt cut not to uh, cut not to cut uh, all that stuff was yeah, there yeah. for rap and um so what they did is they put me it was raju khan was the choreographer and he put me in the dj booth like mm. he's like okay the rap hai to matlab djing tumko aati hogi to dj booth mein matlab khade ho jao aur yo 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 karo aur bas tumhara shot ho jayega to ek shot unhone liya aise hi aur mujhe aise wo feeling aaye ki yaar मैं डीजे तो है ही नहीं आई एम अ म्यूजिक आर्टिस्ट एंड देन एक शॉट लिया उन्होंने और मैंने रोक दिया शूट को मैंने बोला सर एक 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 मतलब बात करना चाहता हूं आपसे सो आई वेंट टू सुनील दर्शन एंड राजू खान आई सेड आई एम नॉट अ डीजे आई एम नॉट दैट टाइप ऑफ आर्टिस्ट सो आई एम लाइक आई आई डोंट वांट टू बी बिहाइंड द डीजे बूथ आई आई माय प्लेस इज काइंड ऑन द मेन स्टेज एंड आई सेड आई वुड लव टू ऑडिशन फॉर यू राइट नाउ इफ इफ दैट्स इफ 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 दैट वुड बी ओके एंड दे सेड I said okay tick tick music bajao and then they they and then I just auditioned on the spot like while wow. while we're shooting okay. and then they're like oh shit ha ye to banda sahi hai isko to stage pe hi rakho yeah. so then I got to then I got then they pulled me out of the DJ booth but I had to like kind of be assertive and kind uh-huh. of like 
and do that for myself. And I'm glad I did because then I also made friends with Bipasha and, and Bobby and, mm. and everybody because then, I, like, you know what I mean? They got to see what I, what I do and stuff. And, and um, Sunil Darshan, sir, and all that. So, yeah. And, and then from there, slowly, slowly, I started to do more work. I participated in this MTV VJ hunt. Mm-hmm. And from there, I met a lot of uh, producers, um, show producers for MTV and Channel V. Mm-hmm. So I would just, like, pay my rent by doing uh, music promos for them, uh, mm-hmm. for MTV and Channel V. And all that, and slowly, slowly do more shows, more shows, and then, and then when I did Hip Hopper, then it was just a little bit easier. Then I got to call um, after Hip Hopper, I was able to call all of the music directors like um, Himesh Bhai, um, Sajid Wajid, Anu Malik at that mm-hmm. time, anybody, and I would just be like, "Yo, can I come to the studio? Pay me? Don't pay me? Give me credit? Don't give me credit? Mm-hmm. I would just love to come." So they would call me, and then I would write. Um, English parts or program drum and bass for them like just get in where I could fit in and um, and then I just remember uh, jamming with uh, Himesh uh, Reshamiya mm-hmm. by so many times and uh, and Samir uh, the lyricist and and just jamming with them and they're like and Himesh was like if you want to be a music director, you should go lock yourself in the studio and mm-hmm. don't come out with like five or six songs. Uh-huh. Do like wait till you have like a, a good bank with you and then you'll see slowly that bank will will start to work for you. Oh, so nice. then that's what I did. And then I took a whole year off and I made a hundred scratches in one year. That was my goal to make a hundred uh, nice so- sounding scratches mm. with um so yeah, and then for the second year was make two hundred, and then so, so that was like uh, slowly how I uh, started to adjust and learn my own craft, and then learn the art of collaboration as well, mm. to collaborate with more lyricists and singers and you know, instrumentalists. So now it's been almost fifteen years to this industry, the witch, right? Yes. Yeah. They, 15 years the which now you have established yourself People, it's always it's, artistly <laughs> struggle it's always a struggle but it people always know feels, you people know you yeah i can i, I have a calling card uh-huh. i like you know i can yeah i can say yeah that much is there but for some reason artistry you just feel like you still haven't you still have your potential. Yeah, you still haven't reached your potential, or you still want to contribute much more. Hmm. You still want to do stuff. So uh, yeah, it's it's so different. Do you pick and choose your work? Yeah, Joey, koi kya that to see you go accordingly. I think a hundred times before saying no, I try not to say no. Uh-huh. My 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 whole thing is try your hardest not to say no. Mm-hmm. Try to do it. Just mm-hmm. because more important than the work, I feel, is the relationships mm-hmm. that you build along the way. Mm-hmm. And if somebody believes in you that they want you to work with them, mm-hmm. then I I kind of value that even over the work. Like that that you know that that relationship is very important. So I try not to, unless it's very very difficult. Then then I don't. Then I have to step out. But I try a hundred times first to not say, to say yes. No. Yeah, not, not to say no. <laughs> so your family is here. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you keep going back and forth? Yeah, do you stay here or Mumbai? No, I'm here. COVID, I shifted to Mumbai permanently. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because it was too crazy. It was too crazy over there. Mm-hmm. When, be, when it began, we didn't know what was happening. And so and then since then, I've just I, we moved to Vancouver. Uh, my wife has spent a lot of time in Vancouver. Mm-hmm. Um, she studied here. So for her, like I was, we were both from Winnipeg. I was born and raised in Winnipeg. But then um, I think Vancouver is just so beautiful of a place. Mm. Like I know, me apan kalhi matlab ay vapas Thailand to. The jadon hav matlab jadon plane anda sega the islands dikhdiya wa samundar dikhda wa. It looks as beautiful as like when we were going to Thailand or when you go to Mexico or anywhere where like it looks just as beautiful as yeah, any other yeah. world destination. So I'm really thankful to be here actually. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> Um, so Ishq Pector Ji, so the now the songs are all over the place, like Spotify, TV, Amazon Music, TV, TikTok, hashtag 11 million, so oh, yeah. how does it feel like being everywhere, YouTube, te, you have your own YouTube channel and uh, it's you very keep posting em- your songs? Yeah, it's very empowering, like matlab, it's a great time in music. There, it's a double-edged sword, right? Because mm-hmm. it's a great time that anybody can create their own channel and create their own brand. You, the, like the 
negative part of that is that there's so much clutter because anybody can do it, right? Mm -hmm. Anybody can create their own thing. But it's very empowering for uh, artists to be able to just kind of create and have a direct relationship with the people who are interested in their art. Hmm. So, see, Judy, um, adult songs we got in it, right? From your dirty, dirty-ish, uh, dirty-ish <laughs> series. <laughs> so, what was that like? Some people liked it, some people didn't like. Was that an experimental thing? Totally experimental. <laughs> Matlab, okay, okay. It's that hunda ke jado if you spend a few years and every day you're making songs for people and for songs to sell, ek din ta aane hi hoga. When you say to yourself, "Ki main aaj gana banana ma," but enna ganda ho na chahiye tha ki koi na le enu. I don't want to make it for anybody. I just I don't want to make it. I just want to make a song that I've never heard before, that I would never, that nobody else would ever make. Hmm. So then, because of that, and also, excuse me, and also, those log, matlab idda diya galla, those log. They which chaldiya rendiya ma. Matlab fun, mm-hmm. fun, like you know, craziness, pagalpan. It's all. It always happens between friends. So, um, I think that that's what uh, that's what it was. I just want. I just want to make stuff that is not for sale. Mm-hmm. It's not to try to be to try to get into a film or to try to sell to somebody. It's just songs and i find that those ones are quite honest like mm-hmm. i mean they, they end up being honest i think the thale caption we he likhi hoya do not listen to this song <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to don't. it <laughs> don't listen to it mat so no kyunki there is a lot of like uh people who think that there is no place or that it shouldn't be done especially by a known mm-hmm. artist mm-hmm. that why is it or yeah, known artists who this? have done it refuse to say oh that wasn't me like yeah, you know a big yeah. like you know a big artist would say that but i don't know i just feel like i get so much inspiration from friends and when friends we talk about these crazy things that i i find that sharing that is i don't i don't think like that there like i know my uh, i know my wife the totally thinks the opposite and mm-hmm. she's like now got just a sense of board aa gaya mere ghar vich exactly you know my daughter now <laughs> now her daughter and, and my wife my wife is actually the main sensor board mm-hmm. but um i just feel like it, artist artistry doesn't really have a, shouldn't have boundaries and it is a reflection of society and if if in society if you can and if th- these things are spoken about amongst friends it's sometimes i don't know i i th- i don't find it offensive i don't find anything offensive like that i find it actually just a depiction of human behavior and what is out there it could like i've done so many so much stuff even like I, actors do roles mm-hmm. or artists do stuff that is not a reflection of themselves but it's a reflection of maybe the director's vision mm-hmm. or may, and then maybe the director's vision is a reflection of society what's what's happening in society so i don't know i don't find like you know that an artist is offensive with mm-hmm. their art i just mm-hmm. don't never get offended in that way so but that's so, just my own thinking बॉलीवुड के विच ਹੁਣ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸੌਂਗਸ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਮਿਕਸ ਆਫ ਹਿੰਦੀ ਐਂਡ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਸੋ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ 뮤직 ਵੀ ਹੁਣ ਉੱਥੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਕੋਲੈਬੋਰੇਟਡ ਵਿਦ ਸਿਕੰਦਰ ਕਾਲੋਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਰੈਪਰ ਨੇ ਓ ਯਾ ਹੁਨੀ ਹੁਨੀ ਸਾਡਾ ਇੱਕ ਗਾਣਾ ਆਇਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਜਵਾਨੀ ਯਾ ਜਵਾਨੀ ਯਾ ਸੋ ਕਿਸੇ ਹੋਰ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਸਿੰਗਰ ਨਾਲ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੋਲੈਬੋਰੇਟ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਸੋਚ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਯਾ ਆਈ ਵੁਡ ਅਮ ਆਈ ਮੀਨ ਆਵ ਡਨ ਵਿਦ ਮਿਕਾ ਪਾਜੀ ਅ ਫੀ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਸੋ ਅਮ Apart from that uh, I did uh, I also just recently released a song with uh, Sonu Khakkar mm-hmm. um a song called Bijli it's on my latest like Planet Ishq album mm-hmm. on the same album as Sitamgar the one that um that I just released mm-hmm. um so yeah I'm always uh, like but I like even doing stuff that's not around like I did I I I made my first Kannada song just mm. to impress my my parents in law <laughs> my to impress them I did one song a Kannada song um and to find Kannada artists and the, like that was a whole other thing and to make song that I I like don't even understand the lyrics to but I composed mm-hmm. um I like uh, I'm interested in doing that type of stuff I love doing underrepresented stuff 
So um, are you interested in collaborating with new singers? Jede ethi apne kafi singers ne? I would love to. Actually, jeda project mera planet ish project hai ga jeda jeri um bijli gana with Sonu Kakkar, the Sitam Gar with UD. Um oh ek hor gana siga patthar karke that's a, a local uh, a local singer it is a part of that track too so i would love to um collaborate with local uh, lyricists local singers always i my door is always open I, the reason why i'm here in front of you is because vasundra from mm-hmm. your station is such a dope vocalist she's yeah. such a great vocalist that she messaged me a few times and i never heard her stuff mm-hmm. but onne mainu instagram ch tag kita ek gana jeda onne huni release kita te odi awaaz sunke i was like wow she, she sounds awesome, amazing awesome voice yeah amazing voice mm. so i told her i said i pro- i definitely am going to do a song with you and i have her in mind so i would love to work with more people out here so how can they contact you Through my, I think through my Insta is good. Um, through my Instagram is good. It's just that Ish Pector. Um, जे मेरे DMs तो reply नहीं मिले आ. मेरे comments uh, comment which uh, मतलब uh, comment Check करो. Check your inbox. <laughs> uh, yeah, just hey, I'm a Vancouver-based artist. Mm-hmm. I I'm a lyricist or I'm an instrumentalist or I'm a singer. Mm-hmm. I am a Vancouver-based Desi uh, artist. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would love I would love to get in touch with you. You have and a I, studio here. Yes, okay. I have my own workspace at home. Okay. Basement which is thoda मतलब छोटा जो setup बनाया हुआ. But it's fully functional. I do. big film work there i do everything there no mm-hmm. problem so uh, that's the best way to connect with me and i would love i'm encouraging i would encourage artists to please get in touch with me and let's work let's do some stuff and mm. l- and just going back to bollywood again utthe to see sharukh khan nal ranbir kapoor aya rehman how did you meet these people okay um so like people like uh, i worked on uh, besharam mm-hmm. uh, for ranbir kapoor i also worked on like dilli wali girlfriend mm-hmm. that was through pritam da um uh, besharam was through my my friend um himanshu mehra who was a producer for the film mm-hmm. who produced that film um so through producers or 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 through music directors is the main way how i connected with them with people like this and then you meet people and then you find oh i love hip hop like those singing hey, hip hop yeah. and i feel it feels like oh like a, you know it feels good and i feel embarrassed too it's like a little shy but it's cool to know that people like uh yeah that have heard my music and mm. especially me coming from like Winnipeg Manitoba Canada mm-hmm. for somebody for like to for my music to be on the international like indian stage is really is really cool do you see a difference othe bollywood hip hop music nu jada pyar mil raha do you think ethe vi same level hai nahi hun hun like matlab gali boy to baad बहुत मतलब एक्सप्लोजन होया वा जो प्रडिक्टिड से वो प्रडिक्टिड ही से कि हिप हॉप इन्ना तकड़ा बनता पाया तो गली बॉय पिक्चर तो बाद मतलब एक्सप्लोर्ड ही हो गया मतलब इट्स कम इन द मेन स्ट्रीम पर फिर भी इट्स फिर भी um it's very limited there's a, there is a v- only a few Long artists ago. there's only a few artists mm-hmm. who are actually making good money from like from tours or from their music okay. or from brand endorsements there's it's not uh, like it's still quite a struggle for hip hop music it's like what hip hop music was in the 90s here mm-hmm. for us it was slowly coming into the mainstream mm-hmm. so even now like a total hip hop song to see the so what's a total hip hop song that has that you li- that you guys have played uh, as a radio station a hip hopper <laughs> see that's last, not even <laughs> last, last song the mere see that's not even a total hip hop song which we sunidhi chohan hai gaye mm. and she's singing a hip hopper mujhe pyar to kar we in a classic indian bhi main to punjabi gaane sunndi hai te sunna okay theek hai punjabi gaane to see dasso rappers da pata mainu ha to rappers which which aake nikal jande yeah yeah that's true te, oh hal hal le bhi hai ga ha total rap song halle matlab inne aaye nahi ge hmm. so oh like so it's still headed it's still growing it's hmm. still going to head to that area hmm. jo oh bhi hoga hmm. um par halle hoya nahi hopefully soon yeah so jaan to pehla sade liye kuch suna ke jaunge 
Of course, I would love but to. But not from your Dirty Ishq series, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> not on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. But I encourage you guys if you want to hear songs that you that you'll never hear anywhere else, you can check out my dirtiest uh, it's a sub sub segment of my YouTube. Um sure, I was thinking maybe I would I would just uh as sing a or rap a little bit of this one song that um Neyo Lagda it's mm. called. Okay, so it goes अकेले चलता हूँ मैं जो तुम मेरे साथ नहीं हो नए बन गए दोस्त इतने पर उनमें बात नहीं वो सब कुछ ऑसम है लेकिन मेरा मूड सही नहीं क्यों है ब्यूटीफुल ये दुनिया पर दिल अटका वही क्यों फिर से वो लम्हे पा जाऊँ हर दिल ने सोचता हूँ कॉल करके तुझको बतलाऊँ तेरे बिन कितना रोता हूँ भिड़ते थे गिरते थे पर साथ में उठते थे जमाना भागे आगे पर यारों के लिए रुकते थे ए वेरी नाइस ए आप ही लिखे दसी यस या वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस एंड फ्यूचर प्लान्स की नेतो दे फ्यूचर प्लान्स आई कीप रिलीजिंग इंडिपेंडेंट ए पार्टन वेयर डू यू वांट टू रीच अम आई वांट टू क्रिएट like there's two sections one is like working with film people working with other companies making music for them mm -hmm. and the other one is making music for myself mm -hmm. and the next project that i'm going to be releasing is called vintage ishq because everybody keeps asking oh i want we want to hear the old ishq we want to hear old hip hop or wala ishq chahiye wo uh. so ek pura project taiyar hai jiska naam hai vintage ishq jo gaane hain usi daur ke jo maine record kar kar rakhe पर वो रिलीज नहीं हुए कभी भी mm. तो उनको रीप्रोग्राम करके मैं रिप्रोड्यूस um, करके मैं um, मतलब पूरा एल्बम बना रहा हूँ जिसका नाम है विंटेज इश्क वो एक प्रोजेक्ट है और सेकंड इन इंडिपेंडेंट प्रोजेक्ट इज कॉल्ड रब्बे इश्क व्हिच इज माय डिवोशनल एल्बम सो इट्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड टेन और फिफ्टीन सॉन्ग्स लाइक ऑन सिखिज्म हिंदुज्म बुद्धिज्म इस्लाम मेरे स्टाइल में लाइक नॉट भजन नॉट um shlokas mm -hmm. like somewhere something else in between something some different type of uh, format i've created so i'm really excited about rabish and vintage ish that is awesome. going to be coming that's yeah. awesome it was really nice talking to you thank you so much <laughs> and, and thank you for joining us dear sara pyar aapko red fm ko vancouver city ko i'm so happy to be here and uh, thank you so much for having me thank you so much for joining us